Good morning, folks. Today we've got a paper that finally makes sense. Another new kind of lightning is identified. We've got a typhoon hero and a considerable update on the internal skeleton of Earth. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on the sun was largely a turning exercise until a little pop on the north, right side near the end. It was mostly a coronal event without much ejecta, but it is worth noting that yesterday's analysis of the CME off the south is now confirmed. A small part may be coming this way, but it definitely is not a concern at all. We are monitoring the filament incoming on the north today. It is unstable and it may erupt. We have new space weather products from NOAA as well, both the global ionosphere and neutral atmosphere. These can be used for radio blackout conditions inflicted by solar activity and will also help show them where their upper atmospheric electric chemistry models need some improvement. Folks, here's some shots of the typhoon landfall in China. Big mess over there at a major shipping yard as well, but folks, not everyone in China is evacuating or scared or struggling with the typhoon at all. The typhoon hero hashtag has a bunch of things like this, and yeah, they are pretty funny. Up next, veteran observers grin as more minutia is revealed about the solar influence on climate through the ENSO connection. But May 19th publication, my goodness, what took so long to make the news? Well, as you're going to see after the key sentence in the abstract, this is not what the abstract said back in May when they released the article. They had accidentally swapped the graphical abstract and the paper abstract by mistake, so now, yes, this paper is making much more sense to me. Folks, it was just a few days ago we said mountaintop energetic pulses got a name as a specific type of lightning. Now, the winter strokes are being revealed and broken down, and it's being discovered that a new character to that lightning exists that isn't characteristic of the rest of the lightning in the world. Compact strokes and winter thunderstorms. Now, last but not least on the article front, I bet this is what they taught you the inside of the earth looks like. Just isn't so. And the most critically important discovery that still doesn't make it into kids learning about the Earth is the LLSVPs, the large, low shear velocity provinces, continent-sized extensions of the core like handlebars reaching up through the mantle and fingering out to various volcanic hotspots. Today, we confirm that the reunion hotspot in the Indian Ocean is in fact one of those fingers. It was predicted to be the case by the model used by Oak Ridge and Berkeley, but it still needed to be confirmed. By the way, in our disaster series, you may recall that these giant internal structures can play an enormous role in the induction of the solar flash throughout the planet, the rotation glitches linked to geomagnetic jerks and solar storms, and in the worst of the planetary effects, mantle heaving. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.